Welcome, Internet, to my next Let's Play, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, for the Nintendo GameCube. So, this is the first Sonic Let's Play I'm doing, and I thought, what better way to start than with my personal favorite game in the series? Well, that and Sonic 2, but this one is definitely the best of the 3D Sonic games. Anyhow, of course, going right into this. Is this how to play, or is it just going back to the... No, we're, we're going to do it, Sonic. Don't worry. Alright, so let's just start on in, shall we? New file. So, right from the get-go, we have to do story modes. There are two different stories in this game. Hero Story, where you play as Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. And then Dark Story, where we play as Eggman, Rouge, and Shadow. So, I mean, you can do these in any order, but it makes more sense to do Hero Story first. So that's what we're going to do. This also takes place after Sonic Adventure 1, but the plot's not important. You don't need to know. Sigma Alpha 2, heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured Hedgehog aboard. Over. That's a 10 4. Cargo secured on board and. What? The Hedgehog is over. gone. He's taking out everyone aboard and. What's wrong? Come in. Well, that's quite a dynamic escape, Sonic. Grabbing a part of the plane and using it as a uh, <laughs> using it as a skateboard. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. Cheesy dialogue aside, you have to expect that. Level 1, City Escape, Escape from the Military Pursuit. This starts the game off amazingly. First off, one of the best songs in video game history, or at least one of the most catchy and memorable ones. We can ride on this skateboard, and if we hold down while going around corners, that can help us out a lot. I love how upbeat and happy the music is and we're just taking out the city. Those orange ramps, if you press A while you're going over them, you can do tricks, which give you extra points. That's cool. Hitting cars slows you down, so try to avoid doing that. So as you can see, we got a cool trick, 500 points. So, yeah, this game has some interesting controls. We can jump, we can press A while jumping to do a homing attack. That'll be our main method of attack. We can also press B to do a somersault. There are these little pipes around. We can whistle by pressing B right next to them. And we get animals to, that come out. Animals have a purpose, but not right away. Also, Sonic can grind on any rail in the game, pretty much. That's pretty cool. So, yep. Yeah, angry Robot, we can homing attack him. There's a metal crate over there, but we can't do anything about that just yet. Also, you'll notice these robots drop little vials like that. They also have a purpose, just like the animals. That is Omo Chow. She's annoying. We're not going to talk to her. While on a rail, if you hold B, you'll go faster, usually. Like many Sega games, this one is notoriously glitchy, so not everything works out as according to plan every time. That is a checkpoint. And let's run! Once again, press A when you're next to these ramps to do a huge jump. That last one's hard to time, though. And we get an electric shield. This attracts rains to us. For those of you not in the know for Sonic games, rains are kind of your HP. If you get hit, you lose all your rains. Or in that case, we lost our shield. As long as you have at least one shield, or at least one rain, you can't be killed by enemies, which is nice. Ah, we missed the super speed shoes. Oh, well. trampoline up there we can hit. I like releasing B when you're going around corners on the rails and we can maintain our speed very nicely. That's a golden robot. They're worth quite a few points. 
break this crate and there's a key inside. You can take that and if you finish the level with the key, you will go to the Chao world. Hey guys. Only one animal thus far, that's interesting. Oh man, darn it, not enough speed. Which is rare coming from Sonic. Okay, this part's amazing. Do a loop de loop and running down a building. This is Sonic at its finest, just doing crazy running stunts throughout a city. So on these poles, if you press A, wow, you can see that little red thing. You'll get launched through the air. Ah, we missed the invincibility capsule. Oh well. We can chain homie attacks to get across large gaps like this. Also, sometimes there are objects on the ground like this we can pick up and throw. We can use those as weapons. Kind of cool. Whee! Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, but I got a, a groovy rating anyways. Sweet! If you can do certain combinations of tricks in a row, you can get extra bonus points. Somersault under there. And wow, we're getting chased by a giant gun truck. That's cool. And because of our electric shield, we, uh, <laughs> we can uh, get to attract all the rings. What I just did was a spin dash. If you hold down B and release, you'll get a huge boost in speed. And, like, look how fast we're going. It's amazing. Later, gun! Gun's the military. They're trying to kill us for some reason. And we reach the goal, but we have to jump into it. Yes! And now we get our rank. You're ranked on the score you get, the time it takes you to beat the level, and the amount of rings you've collected and have at the end. Too easy. Piece of cake. Rank B's is better than I expected, because I did not do very well on that level. And because we beat the level, we get an emblem, the main collectible in the game. I will not be going for a 100% route, because that is insanely hard and long to get, but who knows, maybe this could be an ongoing project. And welcome to the Chao world. This is where our animals and enemy vials will come in handy. So for starters, there's only two ways we can go. That way is to the Chow Garden. Actually, never mind. There's only one way we can go. Chow Garden. So this is kind of like a little side mini game. The Chow Garden basically allows you to raise little creatures called Chow. And we start with two eggs in our garden. One's there, one's over there. So you can hatch Chow in a variety of ways. You can throw them against the wall, but that's not recommended. You can also shake them. So that's what I'm going to do. What we can do is if we hold down Y and just move the control stick, we will shake the egg. The amount of time you shake the egg for determines uh, the Chow's features. It's kind of random though. So we shake that for a bit and... Yay! That's our little Chow. Hello, you! You're so cute. Now let's do the same thing with the other egg. You can also just leave the egg lying out and it'll hatch on its own. But honestly, that takes forever. Let's shake this one for a bit longer. Chow are so adorable. And the Chow Garden is one of my favorite parts of the game. Alright. Oh, happy chow! Really happy chow! Oh, Closed eyes and like a little smile. It's so cute! Alright. Let's give it them um, some food, shall we? <laughs> Classic Sega glitchiness there. Awesome. There you go, little one. So if we give them food, they'll start eating and that'll raise their stamina meter, as you can see. Oh, okay, he's not hungry. But this is what the vials and animals are for. If you give the child vials, they will, it will slightly increase the stats. 
And if you give them animals, it can greatly increase their stats, but also potentially decrease their stats. So yellow vials correspond to swimming, purple vials correspond to flight, red vials correspond to power, and green vials correspond to speed. So let's start handing these out. So see, that made their speed go up by two. Once they have leveled up in a certain category, they cannot level down, which is nice. But yeah, if we want to get their stats up, we really need to get on the whole <laughs> giving them stuff. So I have quite a few red vials. I'm going to give them all to this Chow. And hopefully he'll level up in power. This one I'll have to give him free, though. Oh, never mind. They need one more point in power to level up. Shoot. I'll give my other Chow some swimming points. Got quite a few of those. There you go. Also, your Chow will have affinity. So basically, when uh, we're hero characters, and if we pet our Chow and treat them as hero characters, they'll be more hero-oriented, and they can become Angel Chow. Or not Angel Chow, but Hero Chow. Whereas if you pet them with the dark characters, they can become Dark Chow. And if you pet them kind of an equal amount with both the good and bad units, then they'll be, just turn out to be normal Chow. Or neutral Chow, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much all we can do for the Chow Garden right now. We'll be popping back in there occasionally. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. This game of tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Finally decided to show up, eh? Okay. Bring it on. Dr. Bigfoot reporting to headquarters. The intruder has been located. Copy that. So, first boss, Fighter 6T Bigfoot. He's one of the military members that's chasing us for some unknown reason. So right now he'll just kind of fly around the stage to try to shoot us with his machine gun. If we're good, we can actually hit him with a homing attack now. Try not to pick up all the rings at once just in case he hits you. Cool, we've already hit him twice and he hasn't even done the thing he's supposed to do so we can hit him. Oh, that's out of bounds! Okay, yeah, now we're gonna have to wait for him to land before we can actually get a hit on him. Bosses in this tend to be pretty easy with a few exceptions. Come on and land. So he'll still. He'll fire missiles there if you to take too long in hitting him. So I try to just hit him quickly. Yep, that's what happens if you get hit by him. Lose all your rings. Goodbye. Yeah, just one hedgehog. Hey guys, take care. You do not get ranked on the boss battles. Nor do I think we get emblems for it. What? It all starts with this. A jewel containing the ultimate power. If you don't understand what's going on, it's fine. You don't really need to. It's a Sonic game. Not known for great plot. Aw, oh, Sonic, you could take those guys. You had rings. Oh boy. Just let it go. You just don't know when to get up, do you? What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. You got that? 
<laughs> I love how the voice tone doesn't play match up. Special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emerald. That makes it very powerful. What the? <laughs> Look who's calling who at me. I think they're following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald. This is not Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I'm using it for something. I'll just take it with me. Better well be that old man. Not if I can help it. <laughs> the voice acting in this leaves a little something to be desired. So do the what gestures. I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your Emerald. That's not I'll look into it once I get back to the base. <laughs> See about that, Batgirl. So Knuckles is kind of cool. Rouge, not so much. Welcome to stage two, Wild Canyon. We gotta find all three pieces of the Master Emerald. So if you played Sonic Adventure DX, you, you'll remember the treasure hunt levels are kind of fun. And this, not so much, because you can only. Oh, <laughs> well, there's the first one. <laughs> well, we get okay. That's cool. Yeah, we can only like our radar can only detect the emeralds in order. So are Knuckles. Knuckles, if you hold A, he can hover through the air, which is awesome. You can also punch like that. There's the giant fan in the middle that can blow you up to the second level. Yep, okay. Yeah, you'll notice our radar was blinking green there for a moment. That means that there was one of the pieces of the emerald right nearby. The closer it gets to red, the closer you are to the emerald. Oh, there it is. Also, the knuckle every Knuckles level in this has, like, a unbelievably terrible, but at the same time hilarious rap song that plays in the background. <laughs> this song is probably the most terrible of them all. Oh, is that that mode back there? Am I gonna get an A rank on this first level, maybe? Okay, I think that one- yep, that one was inside the enemy. Sweet! That was a short, easy level. <laughs> I got lucky with the first emerald literally being right above me. But So because we found all three pieces super fast, we're going to get an A rank for that level. Yeah, this is perfect. Sweet! <laughs> and we get another emblem for that. Awesome. Oh, I'm going to have to strategically time when to end videos. Because it doesn't give you an option like, you want to stop playing? No, you just have to end. Also, I love how- no Oh, hang on. What's going on in Tails' mouth? His mouth is like stretchy. And does not time up with his say Look, it's Amy! And Eggman too! What's Amy doing here? Doesn't matter. I have to help Amy because she's in danger. Tornado transformation! I love how Eggman, like, in the past game he was Robotnik and whenever Sonic called him Eggman, like, he's like, No, my name's Robotnik! And this, he's like proudly going around to declaring he's Eggman. Alright, so now we're playing as Tails. Tails, uh, much unlike Sonic Adventure 1 where he was on foot. In this, he's in a giant mech. But we can use this to shoot Eggman. Also, Tails, unlike other characters, he does not need rings to survive. He has that HP meter right at the bottom. Getting rings restores his HP, basically. So if we push B, we shoot a tiny little, like, uh, ionic pulse blast. And we also have a laser. The laser does not damage, but if we hold B, like, the laser will go and we can walk onto Eggman and then shoot him with a giant, uh, laser blast like that. If he doesn't avoid him. Also, if we get right next to him we can, and push B, we can do that. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> So Tails' walker is kind of awkward to maneuver around, especially at first. But all in all, 
that's not too bad. You get used to it. It's basically a clunkier version of Gamma's controls from DX. This time I'll let you go, but the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. He will make good on that threat. Ugh. His mouth didn't even move that time. Amy might be one of my least favorite characters in the Sonic franchise. Ugh. Alright, I think we have time to do prison lane then. For the first mission, find the core of the prison. So here, now this reveals we can actually walk onto multiple enemies at once while we're tails with the laser. So that's pretty cool. Also, this is like the level to get uh, vials on for your chow. So for this level, basically the main gimmick, you gotta destroy the enemies in order to open these prison gates. Yep, so if you destroy two enemies with the laser blasts as a combo, so like I destroyed one there, I just get like a few points. If we destroy two in a row, we get a bonus like uh, 100 points. And for each additional enemy we destroy with a single uh, barrage of lasers, uh, that, that gives us more bonus points. So I think the record is like if you get 12 in like one go, you get the maximum bonus, and any more than that is actually not worth it. Later! Ouch! How dare you! So if you're looking to get A-ranks on the Tails missions, or like the Walker missions, try to get as many laser combos as possible. Oh no! I'm in the yellow zone! Get out of here! Uh, if we wanted to get the Chow Key, we could. I'm not actually going to. I kind of want to just do the Chow in free play mode. Oh, this is a cool part. It's like a upward diagonally moving elevator. It's pretty cool. Plus, we can get some nice combos. I like how like how much control you have over the laser. Like you can just be and like walk onto everything nearby. So yeah, I am definitely not getting A on this mission because I've been destroying enemies kind of one at a time. And getting A ranks in this is pretty tough. The green shield is just a regular old shield. It protects you from one hit so you won't take damage or lose your rings. Oh, oh. Hey there, little kitty. How okay. dare the military spy on me with cameras. Okay. Yeah, there were some enemies off screen I had to kill to open that door. Ooh, out of Tails' way. Ooh, ooh, gold robot. I forgot you could lock onto the enemy's bullets with the laser. Yeah, so I just walked onto seven guys at once. Gave me a radical bonus of 600 points. Nice. Ouch. Well, that's not very polite. I just wish the walker was a little faster. Okay, that did it. <laughs> There's an enemy really far away that I actually had to leave that platform in order to lock onto. Oh sweet, it's the goal! Let me through, let me through! Can I go further than this? Nope, I can't. That's fine. You did, Tails! My reading bonus was pretty bad, but... Hey, B rank, that's not bad. 
Free emblems. Nice. All right, I think that's a good t stopping point as any. We did three levels, two bosses today. I think that's a good place to stop right now. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. I hope you enjoy this series. This is going to be a lot of fun to watch and for me to play. And I hope to see you for the next episode. Have a great day and God bless.